How's it going, guys? Chief Sniper here. I'm just going to do a short vlog about the weekend, the loss, just everything that odds is on my mind, pretty much. So, we got there on Thursday, about lunchtime. We met up with Spooks and Amy in the, in the city. And, yeah, we just had some ramen. It was actually really nice. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, yeah, after that, we went to MCNet Cafe, I think it's called. Uh, we played some solo queue, just got brushed up on our mechanics. Smashed some radio. Farmed some ELO of him. That was pretty, pretty fun. Um... Yeah, and then we, after a few games, we went back to the hotel, grouped up with everyone, had some dinner, uh, and then I think we just went straight back to our uh, internet cafe, yeah, and we scrimmed Iowa for about three hours, tested our rumble comps, which were which went pretty successful. We were, we were actually really confident going into this event, because since, like, just scrims, and just, we were playing pretty well, just about things happen, you know? Um... So I'm gonna I'm gonna skip Friday because Friday was just sort of like a budge day. Did a little bit more scrims, did some secret comp, which I'll mention in a bit. Um, and yeah, then we just went to sleep early, got some good sleep, and then we got out ready to play Legacy on Saturday. Uh, we all had brekkie, had the brekkie of champions, some bacon and eggs and some sausages. It was good. Uh, we got to the event at about ten o'clock. We did well the night before. We did a lot of drafting. We did about three hours of drafting. We drafted a lot more heavy for blue side, which we probably should have talked a bit more about purple side. But yeah, we 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 made a we made for purple side. We had a we had a strat where we leave everything open. We had Raz open. We had Zillion open, and we were hoping that they would leave them open as well. So we trade one for two. Uh, but they banned out two of them. I think they banned Azillion and Raz, so we had to like respond with the other band. So we got a bit caught off guard then, and then we just picked our standard comps, and yeah, we just got outplayed. But the first the first game was quite successful. We we got Kha'Zix, Maokai, and Jace, I think, which are our cores, and and Janna. And yeah, uh, they they picked Syndra into it, I believe. Uh, we we got which which was not the best against that comp because we have a lot to dive on him. Uh, as Maokai, I would just flush W him, and like, if you're not behind, you can do it. And he'd pretty much just die every time. So yeah, the first game went really well for us. Uh, the second game, they, they, they peaked better than us, they played better than us, yeah, and we, we were just like, a bit down in the dumps after that. We picked ourselves up though, uh, we, we've learned from Winter that don't get tilted after one loss, because... You just you don't want that happening. If you if you get lose a little bit of motivation, then you're just gonna you're just gonna lose no matter what. So we got into third game all, all like clean, all good. We got a pretty good comp. We got the Rumble Twitch comp, which is what we wanted to run. Rumble Twitch Thresh Ori, and they picked Syndra and the Lease into us, which was like perfect for us. But then they last picked Riven, which I I had a feeling Tally would do that because he has picked Riven into Rumble in the past, which was it's quite harsh. Like you really need to get the lane swap with Rumble, because if you get the one v one, you're pretty much gonna get denied at least like 30 CS, and that's exactly what happened. But we got we got out of the early game. It was rough. Mid game, Radio just carried the shit out of us. He he stealthed onto Choo Choo's like six times, got like six kills, got us back in the game. We, we actually, like, honestly, we had that game. As long as we didn't make too many mistakes, we had that game. We won, like, four, 14 fights in a row, I believe. Then we overstayed way too much. Uh, Radia got picked off by Janna, I think, under tower. And we all back together. And instead of all recalling, we all had, like, 3k gold. Instead of all recalling, we decided to do another team fight. And it lost us the game. Just that one team fight, that one, one second of decision just just lost it uh it's, it's bad luck though it's re really well played to legacy they they came out really really strong we haven't seen them on form like that in quite a while and yeah we we're, we're pretty we're pretty down after they lost a bit of flashbacks from winter it was it was not fun but we did we did like recover quite quickly but yeah before i got out of the games um we had this secret comp which we were practicing deadly for about I, I played it about 30 hours or so like you in a week um, because on on the patch that we played uh, the finals at Nidalee was really broken uh, so I had I played her in solo queue in scrims like as a nerf Nidalee and we actually were beating every single team like it was working really well so we were really confident in using that to it we, we, we should have picked in the second game instead of the Maokai to to do the split pushing because they didn't have much of an answer in that comp but yeah, we, de we decided not to. We, we really need to work on our, like, 
taking from scrims to drafts, like, we're not very good at that. We tend to sway off when it comes to, like, the actual game. But, yeah, hard loss. Uh, we'll, we'll be a lot better next year. Um, I, th I think we're going to come back better than ever. It's going to be good. I'd like to thank Logitech for helping us out. Just all, all types of stuff, yep. All right, thanks, guys. More vlogs coming soon. Love you guys.